Our next guest plays the scene-stealing Queen Charlotte in Netflix's latest smash hit, Bridgerton. And we are royally thrilled to have her here with us today. Please welcome Her Majesty, Golda Rochevelle. <laughs> hey! Oh my goodness, can I tell you, I am obsessed with your show. You are so brilliant in it. Oh, thank it's you. Unbelievable. Thank you so, so. Yeah, it's you, good fun. It's a good piece of fun, isn't it? It's, it's so good. <laughs> um, everyone is binge watching your show, Bridgerton, but are you binge watching anything at the moment yourself? Uh, yes, I am. I am binge. I'm binge watching all the Marvel movies. Oh really? wow! <laughs> yeah, really cool. That is definitely uh, different. I'm watching it in a specific way. I think it's called Machete, the Machete List. Yes. Um, you, oh, you know about that? Mm -hmm. I've yeah. never heard of it, but they have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've never. I've Pretty never cool. heard of it either. So I think it's um, it's not in the way that they were shot, but it's in the way that all the characters kind of yes, develop and are introduced. And last I night I got to watch for the second time the Black Panther. Oh, oh amazing! How'd you like oh, it? watching it in chronological chronological order according to the story is a big difference. You're right. It's a, it's a huge, huge, huge yeah. difference. Yeah, it it's was so awesome. Yeah, it had so much more kind of depth and meaning and joy watching it in that in that order. It was fascinating. Wow. I loved it. That I loved so it ten cool. times more than I did before. I'm also super interested because you come from a very musical background. I want to know what kind of music are you currently into? I know what you're watching. Now I want to know what you're listening to. Well, at this precise moment, I'm listening to Kylie Minogue's disco album. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> nice. Which is yes. thrilling. Um, but thrilling. I am passionate about country music. Really? I love, um, I love a bit of Dolly Parton. Love um, <laughs> all of that. I've kind of, it's kind of like my secret uh, guilty pleasure. Um, but I recently got back into Marilyn Manson as well. Um, so wow. very eclectic. Oh, yeah, that very was, eclectic. That was really, that's yeah. really yeah. You've got such got a diverse range. range. Yes, and such yeah, well, a diverse ra range. I also have to get into this: your outfits and your wigs that you wear on Bridgerton uh, as Queen Charlotte. They're absolute works of art. So what is it yeah. like to wear all of those beautiful pieces? Do you have certain faves? Do you think you'll maybe try to take some home with you at the end of the season? <laughs> oh, I wish. I'd love to. I have <laughs> two favorites. Um, the pink outfit that I wear uh, for the tea, the tea party with Mama B, Mama Bridgerton. Yes. It's yes. a beautiful yes. pink gown with the beautiful wig. I love, Anchor. love, 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 love that look. And the other look that I like is the, the more natural one, what they're saying my natural hair is, you know, the black wig. With the wig, big hair. The kind of cascades uh -huh. yeah. down. I love that mm -hmm. look so as well. Um, but in terms of wearing those costumes, uh, at, you know, four o'clock in the morning when you're called um, and you get into the makeup truck and you go, you know, these, as you say, works of art are put on your head. It's absolutely incredible. And it's the best experience. Um, come four o'clock in the afternoon, it's getting pretty heavy on your head. And pretty <laughs> oh, underneath there. Yes. You know, um, so can't wait to get it off. Oh, yeah, I can only imagine. Hilarious. But they are beautiful. And this show is beautiful, Golda. It's super diverse. I'm curious, what are the advantages of having a show that, to me, doesn't focus on the color of the characters? Oh, I think there are lots of advantages. Um, I think it creates the space for us as artists, as storytellers, to break boundaries, to push those boundaries out now. Um, having somebody like Shonda Rhimes at the, the, the helm of that, who champions diversity, who champions um, the reflection of our modern day, 
Um, I think it's, you know, so important and so thrilling to see, to take a genre like this and have a black queen um, at the top of it, um, at the helm. And so, yeah, that brings, that brings the space and the energy to, um, you know, push the boundaries and really play with the storytelling and have that storytelling, have that story be exciting and vibrant and rich and, you know, reflect the modern day that we're living in today. I think it's really empowering and really powerful. Yeah. Well, we have a clip of you in Bridgerton where you're actually trying to find out the true identity of the mysterious gossip columnist, Lady oh, Whistledown. Let's take a look. Who is she? Your Majesty. Whistledown, I tasked you with unmasking the scandal monger. Believe me, I am intent on locating her and I'm angry at myself for having not yet uncovered her identity. But I was thinking... Clearly not fast enough. My patience has limits. Get me an answer. Your queen commands it. Of course. Your Majesty. <clears throat> Your queen commands it. Thanks for being with us today. Congratulations on all your success. You can catch Bridgerton streaming now on Netflix. Trust me, you do not want to miss this. Go and stream it right now after our show.